Hello, welcome back. I have gotten some phenomenal PR in the mail lately, and that's what we're gonna be putting on my face today. We've got three exciting new releases. New bronzers from Surratt, very excited about these. All of the lip products, all of them that Kosas makes at this point. I have the new wet sticks. <laughs> Every time I say it, it just doesn't get less weird. And the weightless lip colors here. And I did swatching videos over on Instagram, reels of both of these if you wanna see every single one applied. We're gonna be playing with these. And then Make Beauty, my, my favorite, you know, I just love everything that they do. They have come out with this line of eyeshadow sticks that are all in various neutral shades. Now I haven't tried these yet, but I already have some thoughts and the DMs have been a buzz among the creators about these. So we have some stuff to talk about. Let's go ahead and jump in. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom through a complexion routine just so that we can cut to the chase. at the moment, a little bit high contrast, and that's because I put contour on, but no bronzer. Hopefully the Surratt is about to solve that. So it comes in two shades. Y'all, more people exist than that. I'm just gonna say it. I love Surratt's formulas, but we could have done better than two shades and a bronzer. Okay, bronzer is the extension of your complexion routine. I mean, it really is. Like you need one that is almost as specific as your foundation. Uh, I'm not gonna cut it. And they're also pretty similar to each other. So let me swatch them and we'll apply them. But yeah, when I got two of them in the mail, I was like, oh, okay. I wonder what the rest of the shades are. And like, this is it. <laughs> That's not great, Bob. <laughs> All right, so we have Soleil Claire and Soleil De. Soleil Claire. Soleil Deux. So you can see that the Claire is going to be more rosy. And actually I want to swatch that against the Gucci because that does look really similar to the Gucci. Let me see. Okay, so this is the Gucci bronzer. And yeah, that's looking extremely similar. So we're, we're in a very, very like comfortable territory here for me to put that on. I think that's gonna be the shade of the day. The bronzer video is coming as far as swatching it all over my face and whatnot, but there's still one more bronzer to be released, I think. It's gonna be a doozy. I think I'm gonna try and get the creams and the powders on my face all at once. It's gonna be a doozy whopper. Let me go with something a little smaller here. All right, let's go for the BK 104. If I was really brave, you know, I would use the big one, like if I already knew the formula really well, but since we're new here. So Surratt does, mm, they do powder formulas really, really well. Their powders are just really luxurious and velvety and gorgeous feeling, so. Not surprising that that's working really nicely. It just looks like luxury, it feels like luxury. Has not luminosity to it, but it has a really beautiful blurring quality to it. And it is so rosy. Look how pretty and rosy that is. It's almost looking a little bit blushy when it shifts in the light, you know? Isn't that nice? Yeah, I think that that one's gonna be, that one's gonna be, a quick one to top shelf. Oof, that is just so nice. It's so believable, you know? It's really giving classy bronzer. Ugh, <laughs> oh, look at that really pretty like blurred effect that it put on my cheeks too. 
I mean, first impression is that's just excellent. It's just really beautiful. <laughs> I really like the shade a lot. So I think that that's the problem is I could probably wear either one of them. And the other shade is probably more similar to the other like more yellow oriented bronzers that I typically go for. Yeah, it's a little bit darker than the House Labs and it's a little bit yellower. I would guess it's probably like my LH Cosmetics one a little bit, but I have that one in the next room. I just left it in my bathroom because that's where I was using it. It's very, very good, Surat. It's a very, very lovely formula and everyone should get to experience it. Okay, before we choose a blush or anything, we're just gonna kind of chase this like contoured and bronzed feeling and we're gonna go in with these Make Beauty eyeshadow sticks. So these come in how many shades here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So they come in 10 shades. The first impression that I get from these, it's really hard not to compare them to the lipsticks and the lipsticks are really heavy and luxurious feeling even though they're a pretty meager amount of product because they're replaceable. The actual cartridge of lipstick is refillable. That I think is the case with these as well and they really are like very plasticky. There's, there's nothing like metallic or weighted or anything about them. They do kind of like the packaging is pretty, but the the weight of it and like interacting with it kind of feels like a bit of an afterthought. And the reason that my DMs have been going crazy, they were basically like all of my other eyeshadow sticks are 0 0.05 ounces. That's the industry standard. That's like what all of them are and they're XYZ pricing and blah, blah, blah. We're talking about Victoria Beckham or Bobbi Brown or, you know, Laura Mercier, like any of the eyeshadow sticks are going to be that amount of product. This is 0 0.019 ounces of product and they are $22, which is a pretty stark difference, especially when we think of something like Victoria Beckham being as luxurious as it is. You know, we think about the high price point and Victoria Beckham has just committed a very similar sin in terms of the pricing per ounce of the new contour sticks. So, I mean, we're kind of in the same ballpark here. So anyway, the other thing that kind of, I don't know, like combined with that issue was just that I opened a couple of these and as soon as I started to swatch them, they broke off and I was gentle. You know what I mean? I know how to use makeup. And like the little little top part just snapped off on three of them. And I was like, well, with the already meager amount of product, it's a little worrisome, you know? I just thought it was a little bit strange. So I think these are going to be refillable because the component does come apart like that. But like we're talking about so little product to begin with. I would hope that the refill cartridges are like very affordable. I don't know, but I don't see them on the website yet. That's just a, a hunch of mine. I will put a little video up on the screen of me swatching them because I did actually swatch all 10 of them on the back of my hand in natural light. I will do that, you know, I'll show you that so I don't have to do it again, especially because there's absolutely no way I'm going to remember the names of them. They are all so similar to each other and they don't have descriptive names. They have like, you know, creative poetic names. And so, you know, good luck, right? <laughs> all that to say, I'm psyched to try them. I'm like really excited to get my hands in here and see how they perform. Sarah Taylor, a creator that I follow, she already did a reel using them and they looked really, really lovely. They looked beautiful. So I'm gonna use them very similarly to the way that I use the Victoria Beckham. And I will also swatch against trench and pecan in a minute just to you know see which ones are the most similar so that you don't end up like doubling up if you are interested in these my favorite way to do this is to you know put it down and then use something actually like flat like this that isn't really stubby but it will still blend but it's like you can control it a little bit more and so this is the 203 from bk and i'm gonna start with sonar this is very, it looks very similar to Trench. Yeah, so if you're unfamiliar with my, you know, if this is your first time on my channel or whatever, I've been using the crap out of the Victoria Beckham eyewear sticks. Like that's been something that has made its way so solidly, I would say, into my routine because they're so fast, you know? There's something really, really nice about how fast they are and how long they last. And that was one thing about these. It was weird, because like, I put them on, that's a beautiful color, by the way. That is a really, really excellent color. So I swatched them with the back of my hand and I let them sit for a while. And then I tried to wash them off with soap and they wouldn't come off with soap. And I was like, huh, okay. So they're like really, really budge proof. That's fantastic. Like that's definitely something worth noting. But then I just like took a towel and wiped it over the top and they just like smeared all over the place. And I was like, okay, so which is it? Cause I don't know, I mean, I don't expect them not to smear at all. And I was being pretty forceful, but like, you know, you use like an eyeliner or the eyewear from Victoria Beckham and that stuff's not going anywhere. This is really agreeable though. I have really become a person who likes a good eyeshadow stick. I feel like they wear longer and they don't crease very much if the formula is correct. But the main thing is, and the reason that I haven't gotten into them sooner probably is just that there are so many out there, I, you know, thinking of like the caviar sticks from Laura Mercier, that when you blend them, they just kind of go away. And like, I really like to have tools in my repertoire that are going to allow me to like build believable dimension on my eyes because I'm always trying to build the illusion of bigger eyes. I'm not a one in 
and done a nice shimmer texture on my eyes kind of person and then like put on mascara. Like that's just not me. And so this is something that has the potential to be so important to my routine, especially since it's so fast, but a lot of them fall flat because when you start to blend them, they just go away. So that doesn't appear to be the case here. What a gorgeous color. That was Sonar. That's fantastic. Let's see if we have a deeper brown that's also a little bit on the cool side. Yes, okay, so this is called Meridian. She is gonna be our outer corner moment. This is giving, it's really giving like trench and pecan. See, but it just kind of broke off a little bit. Can you see? Yeah, it kind of broke off just a touch right there when I put it on. I don't like to have to be careful. You know? Yeah. I mean, they work really beautifully. They do have a little bit more, I don't know, I think it's just for memory, but they seem like they have a little bit more like waxiness to them than just like a silicone slip that you would be getting from like the other ones that I was talking about. Like you can feel it, especially as I'm like layering them, you can feel it grip down. Now there are no shimmers, they're all matte. And so, you know, as I'm kind of, my brain then goes to like, you know, what's the equivalent for a Victoria Beckham Oyster? Like there isn't one, which is fine. You know, that's not what they set out to do. They do continue to spread for a long time, which is nice. So do I have one that is like very, very fair? Is that what we're doing here or? Yeah, I think so. So this is Shore and it's gonna be, it's gonna break off. It just broke off on my hand. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of a very light, like almost like my skin tone kind of color. I'm gonna use that too. Basically just like have the same texture all over my eye area, you know, because it's almost like invisible. So yeah, I don't mean to be too like harsh on them. I just want y'all to get your money's worth and like I could definitely see the same concerns that were expressed to me and the same concerns that I'm having. I could see those coming through in the comments and people being disappointed. So that's very important to me to make sure that y'all are getting the full picture, you know? That's so pretty. That's so pretty. And they do have like warmer ones. So maybe we go in with a warmer one here and we just kind of test the boundaries. This one's a little bit, it looks rosier. This one is called Horizon. That's beautiful. I might use that because that's really similar to like the color that's happening on my cheeks with the bronzer. And then we have Cultivate, which is similar. Okay, it's a little bit pinker. I'm going to go with the tanner one. We're gonna go with Horizon. I'm gonna work that kind of right here. Bring a little bit of warmth to the lid because what? Art math. Warmth is always going to look like it's coming towards you. So I'll put that here as well, kind of in this little triangle so that it looks believable to the eye. And I'm also just kind of pushing the limits of how much they're willing to layer right now as well, you know, before they start kind of like rolling up on themselves and stuff. And they seem to be really good at not doing that. You know, it's not like the dry down texture is so stubborn that putting something else on top of it is going to make it misbehave. Okay, I mean, you know, they really are uncomplaining in terms of their performance. It's really just kind of the packaging issue. I think that they could have benefited from making larger sticks regardless of like pricing or whatever, just because like it's gonna keep them from breaking, which makes a huge difference. So do we leave just like a matte look on my eyes? That's so odd. That's like not something I ever do. It's definitely a vibe for sure, but like it's, it's really just like begging for something, right? You know, actually right here in front of me, I have honey from Victoria Beckham and it is gold. Is honey true gold? Or is, no, I'm thinking of, although that is gonna be just fine. The other one is starlight? I think is the one that I thought was going to be green and it's actually pretty gold, but this is this is still what I was thinking of. It's gonna be gold enough that like, you know, kind of coordinates with all my jewelry and stuff. So I'm gonna use the Victoria Beckham Lid Luster. <sighs> I'm so rough on all my makeup though. Like every time something kind of falls off of a table or something, you know, it disrupts the product inside and I'm, I'm definitely the only one at fault for that. And so this has kind of crumbled a little bit. So I'm kind of picking up larger pieces than I mean to, even though I've been keeping the little stopper in there. Oh, how nice is that? And I feel the lid luster grip pretty nicely on there because the eyeshadow sticks do have kind of a grippy texture to them. Cool. It's a nice, sexy gold eye, right? I will take a little brush and just go with a little bit of that underneath my eyes. This is the 209. I love this little shape. Lid Luster does not love picking up on a brush, but it can be persuaded. I think that there's still old shadow on there because it's like going pink. I did not mean to do that. We can grab that one that was like the color of my skin. Sure. And basically erase what I just did. <laughs> ah, that's funny. And instead I'm gonna take a an eyeliner 
and I will grab the spudger on the end. And this is much more likely to pick up product in a way that's like easier to control. I do this all the time. It's a really great way to do inner corner highlight too. And you can wet it also if you find that you're having any kind of difficulty, but it just helps to concentrate the product a little bit better and you have more control than my, you know, floppy fingers. Okay. Uh, I'm loving it. I'm Mick loving it. I do want a little bit of inner corner highlight. I'm going to do the dangerous thing here and I'm going to pull out my rare beauty and lighten because it's been smarshed. And I'll just go in on my inner corner with that real quick. Just because I feel like this is such a selectively bright and illuminated look. I love having the light kind of pop right there. I do feel as if it is time to pick a blush. Ooh, why don't we grab one of the rare beauty ones? I have this whole vault here and I've been pulling some out here and there, but ooh, she even sent a brush. She did, you know, Selena Gomez. What color shall we use? Are we feeling virtue? Ooh, let's try Virtue. Hi, if you're new to the soft pinch blushes, they're extraordinarily pigmented, so we're gonna be extraordinarily careful. I'm gonna put this on the back of my hand, even though I have a palette, but you know me. I'm a disaster. And see what we get. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Uh. It is a difficult formula to control, I feel like. Maybe this brush is just kind of not it. Also, you know, we automatically end up with that contrast underneath my eyes and that can be remedied. I'm just using the last little bit that's on the back of my hand. This stuff goes forever. And in order to remedy that, like I said, I will go in with my Victoria Beckham bronzer, the lighter shade here. I'm a broken record, but this is how I kind of make sure that that isn't so wild. The key is not to panic. <laughs> Pretty. Okay. I'm gonna zoom through my eyeliner and my eyebrows and everything and my mascara. It's gonna look a lot better when we're done with that. And then we get to pick a lip. So I'm gonna probably swatch some things that coordinate with this, that match with this. And we'll, we'll just see. I think I know which direction I'm gonna go, but we'll still see. lipsticks and the one that I think I'm gonna wear, the wet stick, and that is in Papaya Treat. Papaya Treat is really similar to the cheek color that I have on, and when I swatched it in Sephora, it was the one that I was like the most excited about because it's just got that really nice kind of like muted orangey coral thing to it. But then we also have Vegas. Ooh, I don't know. That might be the one. That's so good. Here is Papaya Treat. It's pretty similar, just sheer. And then I have high cut, which I can already, I think it's just gonna be too pink. Yeah, way too pink, way too pink. So it really is between Vegas and Papaya Treat. Hmm. Let's try Vegas first. The color works. I'm just not sure the finish does, you know? It's just a lot of color. It's really, really pretty, but it's a lot of color. Y'all know me, I'm like extra sensitive to it. That's such a good color though. I'm gonna do my powder contour real quick. In fact, I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury. This was one that I used to love and I don't know why I just threw it back in a drawer. <laughs> Silly me trying to organize things. And I'm gonna try it again. I just kind of stumbled back across it. And then we'll also, I've been meaning to show y'all trench and pecan, I forgot. Yeah, I like this one for summertime because it's just a little bit warmer toned. This is the Film Star Bronze and Glow. And I got the mini and it's like, I will never make my way through the mini. Okay, I'm gonna do my clear brow gel real quick. Cool. And yeah, let's do Trench and Pecan from Victoria Beckham here, and I'm going to swatch them against their similar shades in the Make Beauty. Now to be fair, my component of Pecan, the actual crayon keeps falling out, and it did that from like the jump, so 
you know, nobody's perfect, but there is trench and there is pecan. I'm betting that Meridian is gonna be pretty close to pecan. So there's Meridian. It's cooler and fairer, a little bit fairer. The deepest brown, I think, think is this one right here and it is called umber and it is a little bit warmer and more saturated than pecan so pecan kind of exists right between meridian and umber and then we have trench which you know we have this shade terrain terrain is very very similar it's a little bit more orange horizon is a little bit actually it's even more similar but it's a little bit pinker and maybe a little bit more saturated. And then this one right here is Altitude. That's gonna be quite gray by comparison. Shore is the one that I keep using to kind of like clean up because it's almost my same skin color. It's just this really, really muted down like cream. So there's Latitude and it's gonna be kind of a contour shade for the browns, for like the deeper rounds. I'm gonna take Papaya Treat and just put it on top so that we have a little bit of gloss. There we go. So the answer was both. Ooh, actually I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that a lot. Okay, so that's the vibe today. I personally am totally in love with how this turned out and I really think it comes down to like the colors. Like I think that the colors are just so unified and gorgeous and this is a little bit experimental for me. So like I took a risk and the risk paid off in terms of the new blush combining the lip colors and really like embracing the coral of it all. I'm super, super into it. That and, you know, playing with the gold in my jewelry off the gold in my eyes. And it just comes from having a really strong sense of like what the makeup that I own does on my face. You know what I mean? Like that's just all that that was, was like, oh, I remember what that does. So let's chat through the actual products themselves and my, you know, thoughts on them. So having used the Surat bronzer, get freaking real. Like it's an enormous pan of their gorgeous, glorious, indulgent, wonderful powder formula in a bronzer format they need to expand the shade range. It's just not fair. Like it's not cool at all. It's so beautiful. I'm so glad that they sent it to me so that I could show it to y'all. But it, you know, that there are two shades that I could wear both of them, it's just not okay. The one that I do prefer is Sole Claire. It's gonna give you that kind of like, you know, almost like a dupe for the Gucci kind of, although people think that dupe means less expensive. Dupe just means duplicate, but regardless, it is similar and probably about the same price <laughs> as the Gucci one that I wear in shade one. The lips. <laughs> I mean shocking absolutely no one. I really enjoy these. I think that the colors are actually really wearable as someone who doesn't wear a lot of bold lips and like Ve Vegas with papaya treat on top, like that's that's my like epic summertime coral lip. Like I feel, I don't know, I feel powerful. <laughs> it makes me feel really good. And it's hard to find, I feel like, a lip color that I would rather wear than just wipe it off and put on something clear so it's really saying something. So this little combo right here with the kind of unexpected little dark horse that just ran in at the last second, which is Virtue. This is their new slash maybe limited edition. Yes, it is a new limited edition dewy finish of the soft pinch liquid blushes from Rare Beauty and I, cannot say enough about that color in terms of like the mood that I've been in lately. I have been like just team coral lately. It's, I hope that that's okay with y'all because otherwise you're probably getting pretty sick of me and you probably already left, but this is huge. It's so good. It's so, 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 so good. And what am I saving for last here? The eyeshadow sticks. This would be easier to justify if there weren't so many eyeshadow sticks on the market already. This is not a new concept. The idea that they put out an entire range of 10 shades that are entirely neutrals is innovative and I commend them for that and I think that they executed well on the colors. I think that they have a really good distribution of cool and warm. Maybe not super deep. They probably could have gone for something even closer to like a deep dark black, something like that. You know, a deep burgundy would have probably been good. That would have acted as a contour shade or a warmth shade on the deepest of skin tones. That's why I have to give these kind of a tepid review because I think that like for what's out there, for your money, just go swatch some other stuff in store or I, you know, it's even more reason to go for something like the Victoria Beckham eyewear if those colors appeal to you because at least in my case if you're kind of my skin twin pecan and trench and oyster oyster's really good too are going to be more product for your money and they are not gonna break off I mean like I said my whole crayon kind of fell out and I just put it back in but we're not talking about it snapping off while you're using it which is something that's irreparable that is just a loss you know that's a loss of product and it's happened now y'all watched it two or three times. So that's five or six of them that that's done it to me. That's half of them basically that have like the tip has broken off. And I just feel like they needed to put this through a couple of more rounds of review before they released it to the public because it just has too many caveats for me to recommend it against the ocean
collection of darn good eyeshadow sticks that are out there. So if there's a color on here that like, you know, totally blows your mind and you can't find it anywhere else, then like parting with $22, especially if there's gonna be like a replacement cartridge that's less, that's just my assumption. You know, no one's making a citizen's arrest for you buying these, but it's my responsibility at the end of the day to tell y'all what I think is worth your money if this is what you're in the market for. And I think that a caviar stick from Laura Mercier, the Bobbi Brown sticks, the Victoria Beckham ones are just an absolute home run. I really do believe in the Victoria Beckham ones because like I said, they really stand out in the sense that they, the color is so tenacious. Like as you blend it sticks and it stays put. And that's why I keep, you know, going for those. But I do understand that those shades, the limited kind of shade range that she has, cause she did put out kind of more variety. There's like a yellow and a pink, you know, that that's not going to cater to quite as many people yet, but they are known, Victoria Beckham Beauty is known for expanding shade ranges on already great formulas. So hopefully that is satisfying for y'all but I did wanna let y'all know kind of all the caveats because we are currently in the age of shrinkflation. So let me know y'all's thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the look. I hope you enjoyed the review and I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up. It helps my channel so much. And if you have not subscribed already, please do subscribe while you're here. I'll put a video up here that I think you're going to enjoy. I appreciate y'all being here so much. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.